People have been requesting the return of the voiceover, so here I am, voiceovering. Sunset moment in three, two, one. What's what's written on that sign? What's huh? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. I get it. More hands! This is the first time I see more hands in the big city. Ducks are pretty common, pigeons, of course, but more hands? That's a first. And with the nest like that, on the outside, on the open, this was in like a big public park. So, yeah, quite surprised to see how many of them they were. There will be more, more hands in this vlog but like not only were there were they numerous but they were also not afraid of people at all i think that one is a duckling yep looks like a duckling to me the mother might be close if the camera would pan a little bit who we'll filmed Yeah, here's the here's the mom. Let's see the mother duck with her duckling, having a peaceful cohabitation with uh, more hands. Just right here, you can see the nest in the middle of some kind of vent. I don't know. Snout. I think that's Dreamcast. And that, that video was shot a long time ago, but oh, and that's Mega Drive, uh, who died recently of breast cancer. She was a good rat, as you can see, walking on her sister's face. That yeah, that's Dreamcast, definitely. Oh, and that's um, Bird in a park. It's not really a park, it's a kind of garden that is like on an old train track and the, the train hasn't been in use for like decades so they changed the, the train tracks and turned it into some kind of little garden. And so of course if there's a garden there's birds. That's a completely different... no that's the same. What the fuck am I saying? That's the same park. That's the same garden, but a, a bit farther. The garden is actually on two levels. At some point, the train tracks were like up on arcs, and then it goes under. That, that's not a very good explanation, but I trust you understand what I mean. That's a completely different park this time. Yeah. Big park in the east limits of the city. Still in the inner city, just like everything else on this vlog. Everything was filmed in the inner city. More ducks. Lots of ducks. Ducks are pretty common, so... That's a swan in the background, which are also relatively common in parks and gardens. These vlogs, like the, the birdest vlog, there's so many birds. I don't know why, but like this summer in the city during the summer of 2020, so many birds. Usually, in the city, there are many birds. 
and that's a normal thing. But this summer they were like even more than usual. That was a fuck ton of birds. Gang bang of birds. And more hands in the background swimming and in the foreground duck on the land. So yeah, so many more hands I told you that that's a uh, seagull, also pretty common, usually two seagulls. And like a bunch of more hands, and the duck is flapping her wings. I tried to zoom in as much as I could without degrading video quality. If I did a good job or not, you're the judge. And the more hands now come on land. Yeah, I don't know. For, for me, the more hands were all, all, always a countryside bird. You can see seagulls in the background on the rocks. It's surprising to me to see more hands in a, a city. I've seen a lot of them even like shitholes in the countryside, like in very remote, isolated areas, but seeing them like right in the city, that's a first for me. Maybe they were there all along and I just didn't see them, I don't know. But that's definitely the first time I catch some of them on camera. That's something, I guess. Three young on the left, and probably the mother on the right. And you can see the shadow of seagulls flying by. And that's a huge dragonfly. There were so many dragonflies that day, and I tried to film them, but like. My, the, the, the fucking uh, autofocus on my phone was not fast enough. The dragons fly, the dragonflies were like zooming in so fast, and um, they were hard to, to catch. I tried to photograph them, but it was not very successful. Um, that's me doing some kind of uh, pattern, circular. To, uh, yeah, I don't know. There was a dog, a white dog in the background, and uh, he was really cute, and I, I tried to film him, but was not very successful at it because it was a bit too far away. Dragonflies, dragonflies, dragonflies. That uh, was a lucky shot. Peacock. Told you there were like so many birds. Peacocks. Uh, there were a bunch of them. Canadian geese, pigeons, and peacocks, and some dude rowing in the background. Crows now! Yeah, that's the bird that's vlog, alright. More crows. There was a shitload of crows. This is the gardens of the Louvre, the famous museum. And those are birds having a bird bath some little puddles still in the 
Jardin des Tuileries, which is the garden of the Louvre. There's always lots of birds in there. One time, one time in this garden, I saw a fucking huge pigeon, like the fattest pigeon I ever saw in my life. He was fucking obese. Huge. It was round. It was. A, it was round. More hands. There's a little one that's running now, getting to the right side of the screen, and another one, and another one in the flowers. So there's a bunch of more hands in there as well, and of course, many, many ducks. Many ducks. This is the Seine. Seagull walking. Seagull flying. Yep, seagulls flying, alright. Send that's a canal. Canal de Lourc, I think. Cause that's Parc de la Villette in the northeast of the city. It's pretty close to where I live. So sometimes I walk there. I've uh, I've taken photos with a, a big ball, like a big sphere that is in this park. So uh, yeah, if you've seen the photos where I say that I am at ball that's in there. same park, the big park in the east. It's called Bois de Vincennes. And it's like it's technically it's part of the inner city, but it's kind of like a forest. I mean, you can see the buildings and shit. That's the same park. Uh, there's a castle that you can see in the background and some modern skyscrapers and lots of crows in the foreground, of course. Love crows. They're neat. Smart little fellas. That's a swan, obviously. Swan at sunset. Pretty cool.
that. Not really a garden. That's very close to my home. Um, that is a street near Place de la République. So they're... Um, I forgot the name of those birds, but they're bathing in the fountain. I mean, fountain. It's barely one, but I guess it counts. This is right next to the gym where I used to go. All gyms have been closed for a very long time now. This is stormy weather, lots of orange leaves on the trees, lots of dead leaves on the ground. And yet it's the middle of August, that's how it is around here. We always have the seasons that start in advance. Now it's February, I'm recording this in February, and spring is, is starting to begin. You're starting to see flowers on trees and shit like that. We always have the start of the seasons a bit early. Nice little storm here. I tried to capture lightning but there was lots of clouds and the lightning was always behind the clouds so you can see like flashes of light you can't really see the, the shape of the lightning that's a shame but you know I did what I could that's my courtyard of my building that's uh, taken from my window Actually, I live on the ground floor. That's what I see from the window of my living room. And that will be all for this episode, but there's another one that will come very soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.